Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture on mean free path, uh, lambda. So here mean free path is nothing but uh, the average distance traveled by the gas molecule before colliding with another molecule. So, uh, so the uh, collision, so the mean free path will depends on on the average relative velocity because here two molecules are involved in collision and the velocity of uh, two molecules is uh, different it's uh, more likely to be different uh, so we have to consider the average relative velocity that is uh, so here the average value See this notation represents that uh, the relative that represents the average relative velocity, or it can also mean the expected value of relative velocity or the mean value of the uh, of the relative velocity. So here, uh, this V or is nothing but V one minus V two. That is two molecules are involved in this. Now, so here V1 and V2 are, it, it represents the two molecules, one and two. So for relative velocity, when we square V or square, it will be V1 square plus V2 square minus two V1, V2, which is in vector calculus. And uh, for the average value or expected value, Now this value will be zero. So the expected value of this will be zero because expected value of cos theta is zero. So the dot product of these two is zero. Now here we have expression for uh, average value of V or square, but we need we need this term. So here, uh, now if the, for the probability distribution describing molecular speed, that is uh, for Maxwell, Boltzmann, Then here in this case, uh, we can approximate the value of uh, VR like this. So this can be under root we may do. Means it is not exact value, but approximated value that is applicable for Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. And this is approximate value is equal to root two times of uh, V. So here V is nothing but the average velocity of uh, gas molecules. So here Vr is relative velocity and this V is uh, uh, average velocity of all the molecules. So here one may confuse that. Uh, uh, so here when we calculate relative velocity at particular instant we are calculating. So at that instant, two molecules may have different velocity, but the overall velocity of all the molecules, including those two molecules will be is equal to uh, this, this V. And the expression for mean free path here, mean free path lambda will be is equal to so this is average velocity of all the molecules 
n sigma p r so this 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 we are considering because it is uh, see here the mean from free path is the distance by distance which is equal to velocity by time so the mean collision time This is Vr uh, n sigma. The mean collision time is equal to this much. Here we are considering Vr because it is because two molecules are involving. <coughs> n sigma and for Boltzmann. Maxwell Boltzmann distribution, this value is approximately equal to root 2 times. So we end up with mean free path uh, that is root 2. So here lambda is equal to 1 by root 2 n sigma. And uh, when we substitute the pressure, so here pressure P is equal to uh, N KBT, where N is the number of molecules per unit volume. We will see in another lecture the derivation of pressure. And uh, so when we substitute that here, uh, N is nothing but here P by KBT. So Lambda will be is equal to 1 by root 2 sigma and uh, here P, here KBT. So now, if we increase the pressure by a certain factor, then the mean free path will also uh, increase, uh, will also decrease by the same factor. If we increase the pressure, the mean free path will decrease. Just as a matter of sense, we can feel intuitively that uh, when pressure increases, the mean free path decreases. And when temperature increases, the mean free path will increase. So that uh, we have seen here. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe my channel and uh, see you in the next lecture.